I've always just had a big passion for photography and videography and things like that. Like I've just, whenever I was 13, I just fell in love with a camera and then I instantly just kept falling more in love with it as I progressed in taking photos and doing more stuff like that. What inspires my work, um, I would have to say, is just wanting to be more creative. Um, just coming in each and every day or day by day and just trying to create something new and getting better ideas to just better myself in life or just doing my work. In five years, I hope to be uh, in some firm. My dream would be at a, a sports team, a professional sports team, doing graphic design for them. Uh, but in reality, I'd, I'd hope to be at really any graphic design firm. Hopefully, I would like to be a traveling photographer, maybe a videographer too, making videos or working for a really big company like maybe Disney or something like that. That would be really cool. It kind of came to me, like, cause, because I never took an art class in high school or never really loved art before that. But when I came to college, when I came to Tusculum, and when I first took my first art class, you know, I kind of fell in love with it, so. I chose this degree more to be more creative. Like, growing up, I was always thinking of ways to just design something, and I feel like that's my biggest, like, strong suit, just thinking of something and making it happen. My favorite class is definitely documentary film and editing, and it's because I've, I love editing videos. It's my favorite thing. My favorite class probably had to be drawing too. I got a lot from that class. My favorite project I would have to go with the Sweet Diamond logo that I recently created, I want to say last year. Um, I would, I would choose that one because of the logo part. I never created a logo before, so when I was in my room and I was just thinking and I drew it out to come in here and actually put it on the computer, you know, it made me excited. So I don't think I have any specific favorite project. Um, most of all of them were enjoyable, but I think one in particular that was enjoyable would have been uh, the documentary on Tusculum's history that I made. Why did I choose um, studio art as my major? My grandmother she was an artist uh, her whole life, and growing up, I was always exposed to her artworks at her house, and I, as I was growing up, I just thought, wow, I wanna be just like that. I wanna be just like my mama, and produce these amazing paintings and drawings. Um, and I I've personally find it therapeutic. I had always wanted to be a studio art major. I wanted to be an art teacher. And I took my first art class. Everyone has to take a class in the arts. And so I chose Intro to Art and I fell in love with it. And I ended up changing my major before um, the end of my first semester as a freshman. What was my favorite class? Um, It'd be a tie between um, painting one and print making one. Um, it's just two vastly different things, but you get about the same outcome. Um, my favorite project that we did in print making one was the aqua tint boards on these sheets of copper. And it just, the process was long and laborious, but it, <laughs> The, the turnout when you put the ink on the plate, it just looked so cool. Um, I'd love to do that again. I'd have to say that my favorite class to 
work on would be painting because it was colorful and it was still, I like a more realistic style so I would get to use something more in my style. Um, but it was prettier. I don't think I was as good at it as I was drawing. So I also enjoyed drawing because I felt uh, like I did a pretty good job. So you like things you're good at. Two pieces actually come to mind for my favorite project. One is this painting I did of my dad, my senior year of high school. I lost my dad to cancer four years ago, um, and painting a portrait of him helps me a little bit, or it did help me when I first painted it, and now I can look at it and I can, I can see his face in the way I perceive it. I'd have to say that my favorite project has been the first art, official art major project I did. I took drawing one as a freshman in January and the first project we had was of a leaf and you got to pick out your leaf and then you drew a huge portrait of that leaf. Um, and it really taught me a lot about myself and my style. Um, it taught me a lot of technique type things as well. Um, and it really got me excited for future projects. I think my inspiration um, comes from my family. Um, they are my world and I, would, I don't know what I'd do without them and their support. Um, a lot of the pieces I did um, that I feel that I did really well on were for my family or about my family um, or my friends who I consider part of my family. In five years, um, I see myself teaching art to elementary and middle school. Um, if the school that I work for says, hey, can you design this thing for me on the computer? I can say, yeah, sure, I know how to do that. Um, and if any of my students in the future um, decide they, they're interested in doing uh, or working with Adobe, Illustrator, or Photoshop, I, I, I can at least have um, an understanding of how it works instead of scratching my head and say, ah, oh, let me get back to you on that. In five years, I would like to be a high school art teacher, um, although I would like to start out perhaps with middle school, as I will be pretty young when I graduate. I'll actually graduate this December. Um, so I'll be 21 as a teacher starting in the spring. So if I start with high school kids, I think it'll be a little too close in age. But um, I'd like to start with middle school and eventually work my way to high school. And I'd like to eventually get into the high school art programs and work with kids that have uh, a little bit of a higher understanding of art. Hopefully it's something that they're really interested in more, not as much as an easy class. So hi, my name is Kristen Craig. I just graduated from Tuscaloosa University um, from the Visual Communications program. So this is a drawing from my drawing class with Mr. Bledsoe, and I call it Day of the Dead. Uh, uh, the medium we used was charcoal, and we kind of just had a I guess how the assignment happened was that we had to draw the skeleton that was in the room and somehow, some way, mine turned into this. Uh, <laughs> and I definitely love this piece a lot because I just love the different colors of lights and shadows played off of it and especially the geometric background. So this is a fun piece for me. So this piece came from my graphic design three class. We were given two prompts. One of them was to come up with a magazine cover. So I decided that I wanted to do the Cosmopolitan. And my inspiration with that was to do Breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn. And so I love this piece a lot because of the color choice I chose. I definitely wanted to use like a nice light pale pink. 
and I love this because I wanted it to play off of words. So the five words, or a couple words I chose was like style, food, gossip, gossip, love, horoscopes, recipe, fitness advice and beauty. And yeah, so I just wanted to play a lot with the negative and positive space in it and use a little bit of typography in it. So this piece comes from my photography class with Mr. Doyle. Uh, this For this assignment, we were supposed to take pictures at different perspectives and stuff. So I was randomly driving down 11E and I passed by a school that had a really cool, yeah, really cool park. There it goes. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, I decided to lay in the ground and take a picture of the uh, monkey bars up from top. And I love this one because it's a really playful picture and just kind of reminds you of being a kid. And then this piece right here is from my Graphic Design 3 class with Miss Monday. This is one of the many quotes we had to do for the class. And this one is, man has the power to create anything he can imagine. And it was from Napoleon Hill. Uh, my inspiration for this was a light bulb and just coming up with a crazy idea. And I definitely wanted to have like an explosion of color going with it. So something like exciting happening in the light bulb. So this is definitely a fave. It's a fun, colorful one. And the type of jobs that I feel like my visual communications degree will get me into. Definitely graphic design work, what I've been learning, especially with social media and stuff, is that there, there's a, like, a definite need for that. Um, and if you know how to work Adobe, Photoshop, and Illustrator, and InDesign, which a lot of people don't know how to do, like it's definitely like work in that, especially in freelancing as well. Um, and it's definitely like thousands of sites that you can go through and get paid to do that. If you know how to do video editing with Premiere Pro, I mean, which, I mean, countless resources. And of course, like, if you get a degree in it, you're gonna learn a lot about it. And especially in the world of YouTube, where that's, like, exploding. Um, and people need more and more video editors and stuff in that. A lot of marketing jobs for that. Uh, for example, one company, uh, Colourpop, they do use a lot of graphic designers and stuff to help market the co company. And like their brand and what they represent is definitely like a huge part of why they're so successful. So definitely a lot of jobs in that sense as far as corporate because people want like fun branding and stuff. You think about it, like Nike's popular because that one logo and like what they can do with that, just that one logo. So definitely a lot of just endless possibilities honestly so give it a shot don't don't write it off I mean even if you go to school like how I did it was art was not my first choice math was my first thing because I thought I don't even know yeah math was my first major and because I thought I was supposed to do this type of job and was you know to make this amount of money and stuff but it wasn't something I wasn't passionate about, and I think if you don't just take the risk and explore it, you, you just won't know. So I just changed my major, took a couple courses, and it wasn't too late to change it, you know. Um, but I definitely recommend you just trying it out and seeing. If, if it's something you want to do, you just you never know. And even if you do it as a minor, and you just take a few courses, it's not like you can't go back and change it, you know. So I definitely recommend, like, especially in college, exploring all your options because you just, you never know and you think you're gonna do one thing and end up doing something completely different, so.